Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the live animation editor in Roblox Studio, or how to animate with videos. Sorry if I sound a little off, it's kind of early in the morning right now when I'm recording this, but I'm still recording this because uh, I want to get this out today. So, the first, no long intro today, we're going to get right into it. So, the first thing you're going to do is head over to Plugins in Roblox Studio, and you're going to want to click this Build Rig button. Once you're there, you're going to click Block Rig, and that's going to spawn this little dummy that we can animate and uh, use with our video animation. So once you've done that step, you're going to want to come up here to this plugin. Everybody will have these plugins, by the way. These aren't um, something you need to find. They should be pre-installed. So next, you're going to click this Animation Editor, and that's going to open up a new window. If you need to, you might need to click this little button here to open it. Next, it's going to say Select a rig to animate. So we're going to select a, a rig, and that's why we created this dummy. It's our rig to animate. So we'll go ahead and name this. We're going to click the dummy, and then we're going to name our animation. I'm going to call this Dance. Okay? And to turn that on, you're going to go to File up in the top, and there's going to be a button that says Beta Features. Once you're there, you're just going to check this Live Animation Editor and click Save. It's as easy as that. And then you're going to want to restart Studio because you need those changes to uh, save. So make sure you save your game before you restart. So once you've done that beta feature, you're going to go ahead and click these three dots, click Im uh, hover over import, and you're going to see live animation creator. Once you click that, it's going to tell you to choose a 15 second video. You're going to want to choose a 15 second or less video with a person fully in the frame. Okay, that's the key thing. So click that and you need to find a video with somebody fully in the frame. I have like a little Rickroll uh, snippet, like a little section of that. Um, However, he's not fully in the frame at this point, so it's going to turn out pretty weird, I can already tell. Um, so, make sure that you choose a video with our, uh, everybody uh, fully in the frame, or sorry, your person fully in the frame, because otherwise Roblox isn't really going to know what to do, as you'll see in a moment. So, as you can see, it kind of works, but again, this is, he's all like hunched over because of this, uh, this if not being fully in the frame thing, so make sure you do that. There are a couple more things I want to show you. First, this is the repeating button. If you uncheck that, you're going to notice once the animation finishes, it stops repeating. So, I would highly recommend turning this off. That way, um, you don't have to go through the hassle of stopping the animation in the script. Um, I mean, you can set the anim animation priority. We're not going to get into that. So, for now, just go ahead and turn off the looping animation so that it plays once, and then it's done, and the players can use their walk animation and all that again. All right. So once you've done that, you're going to want to click these three dots again and click Publish to Roblox. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to click Animation and you're going to click Next. Give this animation a name. I'll call this Dance and click Submit. Once that's done, you're going to have this ID. You're going to want to click this to copy the ID. And then what we're going to do, we can close out of this Animation Editor. All right, after that, you're going to come into Server Script Service, enter a script and name this emote script, and then you're going to want to insert an animation in here. I'm going to call this dance because that's what mine is. And you're going to paste that ID that we just got right here in the animation ID, okay? So paste that. And then next what you're going to do is you're going to go to my, you're going to need to go to my Discord server. I'll have the link in the description. And you're going to want to go to the announcements channel and click the, click the pinned messages. I'm going to have uh, a pinned message with the, this code so you can just copy and paste it because today isn't really a scripting video. It's more of learning how to do this animation. So we have this command. Uh, I'm going to explain it in just a second, but make sure that you change this dance thing to whatever you've named your animation. And that should be just about it. So what this is saying, uh, you can change this command right here. This is what they had to chat in order to, in order to play that emote. So whenever they basically just this is saying whenever they chat slash emote, we're gonna play this animation. So let's go ahead and test this out. Let's hit play. And if we type slash emote in the chat, we should be able to do this. As you can see, we have done that little emote slash emote. Boom! There we go. We have this. Little emote. There we go. So it's as easy as that. Um, I guess I shouldn't say it's that easy, but you know, it's uh, pretty. It's pretty simple, honestly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe and like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Big shout out to my Patreons up on the screen, especially my twenty dollars Patreon unkind pair. I really appreciate every single one of you. You guys are awesome. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and end the video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.